Army says Shifa given 6,000 liters of water, 2,300 kilograms of food. This post received a score of 3,100, with an upvote ratio of 81%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. The delivery of water appears to confirm the claim two days ago that a water line to the hospital was damaged, probably when the IDF were digging up the hospital looking for the Hamas HQ. The hospital had no water for two days. Most patients who were able to leave have left. There's six doctors and 120 critical ill patients and premature babies left, impossible to move, down from 650 about three days ago. Staff claim they were ordered to leave, and most left on foot. Hospital staff claim the solar panels were damaged and don't provide any power, so the delivery of baby incubators was pointless without electricity. There's claims if was a water tank or septic tank. Absolutely dreadful what Hamas have done to that hospital. Big. Why are you hitting yourself? Energy right here. Is 6,000 liters considered adequate for a hospital in an active combat area? Honestly curious. It seems like hospitals have a huge demand for water. Edit. U.S. hospitals average 570 gallons per day per bed. So this would be enough water for three beds for one day. It would obviously depend on how many people are there and how long it is intended to last. From what I read, there are about 120 people still there. That hospital's so fucked up. Even on the IDF social media pages it doesn't look great. It seems like it would make more sense to just evacuate the medical staff and patients to some hospital in Israel. A two-sentence article from the Times of Israel isn't exactly credible. Well, people don't believe the atrocities done by Hamas and published by them. So having IDF publish videos of this won't convince the people around the world too. At least the governments know, so that's a thing. The one side that actually has restraints and provides humanitarian aid to civilians will be criticized to hell and back. Hamas on the other hand faces very little accountability by comparison despite being a genocidal Islamist terrorist organization that oppresses, steals from, and kills Palestinians. People and organizations will literally balk at calling it a terror organization. The difference is expectation. Hamas is a terror organization. And as such we expect no better of them. Israel is a functioning democracy. And as such we hold them to a much higher standard. One side uses the laws of war as a strategic weapon and actively makes it as hard as possible to target them by embedding amongst civilians. I think that is implied with, Hamas is a terror organization. Yay, but did you know Hamas are bad people? And have you condemned Hamas today? This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.